Okay, so this is Andrew, and we're just going to do some work with shaping his back feet um, and how the shaping process works. We're always going to start lower down the shaping plan than when we finish. We are using some food rewards and clicker training, although those have been phased out. We're not using the clicker and only occasional rewards in areas which he's already comfortable. The behaviour that we're constantly looking for is standing still and we're using some scratches to start to replace the food rewards in uh, areas which he finds easier. Three months ago we wouldn't have been able to touch uh, Andrew at all like this. Very fearful, very defensive donkey. The behaviour that we're working on is this standing still. Um, while I pick up your feet. I really don't like a donkey to pick up their feet until you ask them to. Um, if he puts his foot down and moves, then I think just a fly annoyed him there. We'll just work with it. There's no reason to worry in training. Make it easy, don't get into a battle. So again, just to say the click marks the behavior, tells him to keep going, and then I put the foot down, give him the food reward. Although we want to work with the back feet, really important that we always start in an easy place for him. So that uh, we get him thinking about what's going to be happening. I always use this long rope just to give us more room to manoeuvre if we want to. This is his slightly more worried side. We'll make it a bit easier there. Because of his previous handling behavior, he had a real problem with leading, which has improved considerably. But uh, we're still working on it, and that, but we're not making an issue of that while we're trying to work on the other areas. We only ever train one thing at a time, so that we don't confuse the animal. Um, <coughs> and with Andrew, what we want him to do is get used to standing still while we just have our hand uh, rested on him because he finds that really difficult. We can stroke his legs all the way to the bottom but what he finds difficult is having that hand still on him because it really represents uh, his foot about to be picked up. He's quite happy with it moving and quite often donkeys will be happy to have their legs groomed or to be stroked but when you pause your hand they find it more difficult. The idea of the training is that he doesn't become so uncomfortable he's got to kick out. We're looking to stretch his comfort zones. I'm constantly looking at his muscle tone, how worried he is, how quickly he takes the treat. Sometimes we just make it easy, we don't always ask more. We go to the other side and work with that. We don't keep pushing, it's too much. Often people try too hard to, to, to find out where they're gonna kick. They try to reach down too low. We don't want him to kick in this training session if we can possibly help it. It might happen, but but we try and avoid it. You really want it to be quite boring, quite easy for him to achieve. We're moving quite quickly. We're doing quite a bit of work. I'm not creeping. 
can see that I'm just getting used to the fact that my hand is going to rest on his leg. And that's how we'll progress with Andrew. We're watching constantly his muscle tone. Does he tuck his tail in? Does he show that he's uncomfortable with something? You can see there that little bit of leaning in, a little bit of shift of weight there. So I waited too long and just stretched it too far. My fault. Come back, make it easier. Reinforce the good behavior. Carry on working. Don't take it personally. You can see that he was coming to that point. So we stretched him a bit too far. Too long. What he's actually doing here and the level of acceptance he's showing for Andrew is really good. And to be honest, that's the end of the session. I'm really pleased with that. He gets a little jackpot on the floor. We'll take his head collar off. Finish, walk away.